up. I, uh, I appreciate you guys doing this. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like John said, man, that's a perfect name for this band. <laughs> yeah. I think he thunk of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like License to Ill the Beastie Boys. That was right? the late 80s. <laughs> you get License to Chill. It's a very appropriate name. Uh, yeah, so uh, that must be fun just to play that music. It's relaxing to listen to it, but, uh, you know, you just like playing that kind of guitar, right? It's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. I'm, I'm with the funnest guys around right here. <laughs> yeah, that's a key. Vinny was saying that. That's such a key to, like, you know... Have uh, have fun with the band. A lot of a lot of bands that get successful don't have that, you know. And I think it suffers creatively, you know. When we get together, it's like you know, it's it, for us, it's like a happening because we're. I think all of us are the happiest when we're actually doing this. You right. Know? I would hope so. Like it makes sense to me as a fan that you would be like. Uh, it's hard to think of that as work, but it is work because it's a lot of preparation, rehearsal and stuff, and writing and everything, but putting it together. But I think once you got that down, playing has got to be a blast, right? It never stops, it's right? It's fun. And we're old enough that we're past the uh, ego stuff that we might have encountered in Yeah. The... <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You know? Except for John, the bass player, you know. He, <laughs> John Sebastian Bryce there. All right. Three names, what do you want? He, you seems, uh, he does seem like trouble. Three names. <laughs> he <laughs> seems like trouble. Like Sarah Jessica Parker. Parker, right, right yes, like a yeah. David. What a figure! Uh, I, so uh, now, well, well, John, uh, my co-host, is a uh, you know great football player, and he played in a band to let off steam, right? I mean, you know. yeah. Well, no, I thought it was uh, you know something that I loved from growing up uh, playing music. I always felt like it would, yeah, it was cathartic. You know, it took took the edge off a little bit. This stuff definitely takes the edge oh, off. Definitely. And I and I I see what you're saying now, Vinny, about, you know, you really like Jimmy Buffett. You know, you like his music. I mean, oh, Vince, yeah. you I'm you write the songs, is that correct? Uh yeah. Are you guys and then you guys kind of collaborate after you come in with the chord progression and the the lyrics? Is that yeah, how it, it works? definitely wouldn't be the same without these guys. Yeah. They they had they added so much to the music. You sure. really feel that? But uh, yeah. it's definitely, man, it's, uh, it makes me happy listening to it, just like you're talking about, Vinny. I mean, you want to be happy. Yeah. What kind, of, yeah, what kind of gigs do you play? Do you stuff. play gigs where people, uh, you know, is it mostly theaters? you play clubs? I mean, is it uh, any type we're, of gig? We're a bar band. Yeah. I, I so would people say, get up and dance and stuff, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are a very hardworking bar band, uh, and, you know, we'll stay to the very end. <laughs> we do. Yeah, like what? What is that like now? <laughs> that, but you see, that's an interesting thing. Nowadays, with the music you hear, it's very you know the popular music you hear on the radio mostly, except for satellite radio. Sirius it really right. Sirius XM has really saved this. It's, it's so great that there's a venue for uh, this music now. But most of the popular music nowadays is not what you'd hear in a bar. Not at uh, all. Not what are the crowd? What are the crowds like that you encounter? The older people? You getting a lot of younger people who enjoy it? Uh, Actually, we're, we're getting younger people that when they come hear us play, because we just don't do islandy stuff. We do classic rock. We right. do a whole gambit of, of stuff. And we'll make like my daughter. She's 28 years old. She loves us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. her and her friends come see us. You know. I mean, uh, to me, that's that's really great. No, that makes sense. Sure, you it's know? gonna be and, fun uh, for you. Vince writes great songs, and forever, from the first day we did Senorita, people were singing it. With us. <laughs> well, you know what's uh, funny? I had never heard that song before, uh, Take Me Away, but uh, by the end, I was I felt like I was singing along to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's, kinda, that's, that's the, the way he writes the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's everything that you want. I call a great Jersey Shore band to have. You got the sax going there and the, the keyboards and everything. And the, uh, How long have you guys known each other for? Oh, God. How long have I known you? Five years now? I know Vinny about 45 years. Yeah, I've known John for 45 years. I had a band who used to yeah, open up the new. steel mill. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. John Bryce has been around, but I actually, I've, I've known him through the years, but just really met him. Since okay. He started playing with us. And Taz here, I think uh, you came and played at my jam session first time, right? And had some. Uh, 25 years ago. 25 now. years ago. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Vince, I just met yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you, you got to watch out for him. Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah, new guy here, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, the new guy as well. How do you characterize, you know, that, that already said, yeah, this is a great Jersey Shore sound when one of the first songs that you were playing. And you know, not being from New Jersey, I've never been to the shore there. 
I was I didn't know exactly what that sound represented. What do you, how do you guys characterize it? Guitars, R and B, funk, syncopation. I th- yeah, I think upbeat lyrics in a way, kind of lyrics like you know you're getting off work on a Friday, like a blue collar thing. You're seeing your girl, you're going dance or whatever. You know, like uh, sort of that type of thing. Like a little people, rough around the edges, maybe. Yeah, yeah. a little, little rough, but you know, right, like, exactly, yeah, Burn exactly. Park sound is something special. It yeah. didn't come from an individual or any one individual. It came from Motown. It came from San right. Francisco. Right. It came from Miami. It came from England. You know, and it, the the mesh of what happened to all the musicians in Asbury and the Jersey Shore that play together made that sound happen, you know? I, mean, this... I was going to say, like, how do you describe that sort of special time in history? I guess you just kind of said it, but maybe even more specifically, late 60s, early 70s, the Asbury Park sound. Magic. Lots yeah. of clubs. Lots, lots of clubs. Lots of clubs. A lot of clubs. A lot of places to work. A lot of, a lot of talent. Two bands. And right. Each club. Yeah. In a small area, a lot of musicians can make a living. So and then after the gig, you'd all get together and out. You'd all meet at the diner or something. So And talk. You yeah. read about, like, I read in the books about, you know, Cookman Avenue and right. all that stuff. Right. And playing above a, a, the a stereo was store. Incredible well, the scene. upstage was the melting point. Okay, what yeah. was that? Well, the upstage was a... Tom and Margaret Potter, uh, they were hairdressers, really. Right. And, uh, well, like when I met John, they owned this, they played in this place called the Pixies Inn out by right. the Collingswood Auction out there. And I met Tom and he said, oh, come, come to my house and jam. <laughs> so I never made it to his house, but they, he bought the place where above the shoe shop. Right. Tom and became the upstage. Too. And then yeah. all the musicians, we'd get done at three in the morning. And go and there. Go there and so it's like an after hours jam type and he of thing. And he had some amps set up and drums. And all the speakers just screwed into in the, the wall, wall and back of the stage. No cabin, just screwed to the wall. No kidding. And, and, you could, and the middle floor was a coffee shop, and there was no alcohol, so anybody could go. Wait yeah. a minute, where were you? You were at the same place I was at? Yeah, well, they it was, didn't, they didn't, didn't sell. serve it. They didn't sell it. It was lingering around. But, there, but actually, there was more of something else than alcohol. Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> yeah. People were enjoying. But no, but yeah, because yeah, it really was a unique time. I guess that's why Bruce named the Greetings first album, Greetings from Asbury Park. That's where we hung. A specific thing. And thank God, you know, it went through such a bad time, Asbury, and now it's coming back. You know, it's kind of cool. There's a music scene there now. It kinda, seems to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. we go, uh, there's, there's still spots in Asbury that are dangerous. Oh, yeah. But... It's really, it's, it's really coming back. Some it's coming back. It's a lot better than it was yeah. six, seven years ago. Oh yeah. Even that, yeah, even that. Yeah, like uh, I remember twenty years ago going to the Stone Pony, see Southside Johnny, and my God, it was like, okay, how are we getting out of here alive? Yep. You know? <laughs> it almost looked like after a while, Asbury Park looked like a movie company came in and and actually made it look like a crack town or something. Right. Yeah, that's There's right. all those great. <laughs> that's very true. Like there were signs hanging from one screw and yeah. Uh, you know, burnt out hotels that, and it was really eerie because you could tell at a time they were happening and fun, and now they're just abandoned. You know, like like what Detroit looks like now. Is what right. But there was a lot of movies done there then. The one with De Niro was filmed right there. Right, Woody exactly. Woody Allen did one there. He's the casino for the train station. That's right. That yeah. casino with the clown face and everything. Yeah. That's a popular thing. But there was a lot of film doing there. It was it was very photogenic in that sense. It's, I mean, most, it's, you know, it was the riots in the, in the 60s. Right. And it was c- pretty it. much corrupt government for 40 years. A lot, gov- Fed put a lot of, and the state put a lot of money in there, and it would always just evaporate. Man, that happens in Jersey, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, listen, where are you guys next? What are you, what are you, what are you playing next? Uh, where are we? Thursday night, where are we? We're, um... We're Channel at the Channel Club. Club. Oh, we're at Thursday. the Channel Club in Monmouth Beach. That's cool. And then we're down in your neck of the woods Saturday, Friday night at Bum Rogers in Seaside. Cool. All right, that's nice. And then we're uh, Saturday night at Riverwatch in Brick. Now, how can right. we how can we find you? Because uh, uh, I got the last ten days of the summer off. Website. I'm gonna try to find you uh, and, and and come check you out. Uh, what about uh, social media? You guys do Twitter and stuff like oh, that? Oh, yeah. We got so uh, if you just Google, Facebook. Google License to Chill or something? Or or Google com. License to Chill, License yeah. to Chill dot net. Dot net. Okay, that's, yeah. that's you know, important, right? If you type License to Chill, that comes up on Google and you type band. Yeah. And then you click on Calendar. 
It's got our I'll own get it. Cat right. schedule's always there. Yeah, yeah, before the end of the summer, I'm trying to check you guys out. I'd love to come, come down. Hang. Oh, yeah, you'll enjoy come yourself. Come on down. I can't wait. That's we'll try and get you to dance. Oh, yeah. I, yeah listen, I can drop a couple. <laughs> I can I can stand to drop a couple. I can do the bring John with you, though. <laughs> no, John, you should bring your son down. Yeah, you're right. I yeah, he'd have a good time. I'm trying to get John down in my house. I'm trying to get the whole show I, down I, in my I, house. You know, I would, I would look at him and go, hey, here's the thing. <laughs> and he would get it. Exactly. I hope. He's yeah. the yeah. uh, But I'm going to try to get the whole show down to the, my house at the shore for a, a party. Maybe if you guys are around, maybe you awesome. check uh, All right, well, listen. Quite a party. License to chill .net. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We should talk about that. <laughs> yeah. oh. License to chill .net is how you find it out, and uh, they're all over the place. Uh, thanks so much, guys. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank great. you. Thank you. Vinny, uh, thank you. Thanks, my man. Uh, thanks. You know I'm with you. Uh, thank you, but I hope to see you again soon. You will. Uh, Vinny, Mad Dog, Lopez, and it's licensed to chill, and we'll be back after these words.